is Jordan Purcell. As technology advances, various machinery and tools are becoming more common. User-generated content is taking off in many ways, and now things which were previously reserved only for professionals are being enjoyed by everyone. Most common among this user-generated content is video clips. These videos are spread and shared via portal sites such as YouTube. The Samsung MX20, which I'll be introducing, is an incredibly convenient camcorder for creating this UGC. As you can tell by the name, this product is a newer model of the MX10. You can see significant improvements over the unsatisfactory parts of the MX10. First, we'll examine the external differences of the MX20. While it's similar in shape and size to the MX10, the modifications are obvious. In the front part, for example, instead of having a separate lens cap, there's a lens switch. This is very convenient and very easy to use. You can see that one excellent aspect of the MX-10 was a swivel grip which could rotate 150 degrees. In the MX-20, the swivel grip rotates a full 180 degrees. This makes a big difference while taking videos. All of the buttons are located in a similar position to the MX-10, though they're improved. The record button is larger, and there is a rubber grip material on the top. The MX-20 takes videos at a 4x3 ratio. However, you can modify the ratio scale to take videos by a 16 by 9 ratio. The biggest difference between the MX20 and the MX10 is that the MX20 has internal storage. You can see here that there are 8 gigabytes of external storage offered in the MX20. Also on the LCD screen there are zoom buttons and a record button. These can be very convenient in certain situations. On the underside of the LCD, there's an external speaker, an iCheck button, an EZQ button, and a new Super LCD button. This allows you to change the LCD brightness into three different settings, depending on your surroundings. Of course, the memory card expansion slots are still available with SD, ST, HC, and MMC Plus compatibility so the memory can be expanded at need. Next to the memory slots you can see the battery, which is the universal MX or HMX series battery. This battery has been increased in the MX20 to approximately three hours of battery life. There's a cradle slot and a tripod slot present on the bottom. Now let's explore the performance aspects of the MX20. The image quality has been considerably enhanced compared to the MX10, with the new color system motion is much smoother and sharper, and the pattern noise has been cut down significantly with the improved noise reduction function. A face detection function has also been added to help create more vivid films. Like the MX10, the MX20 offers 34 times optical zoom. With the Schneider lens, the image is still recorded vividly even at maximum zoom. To prevent handshaking, the stabilization function is improved greatly. Not only does this compensate for a great deal of the vertical and horizontal motion, but the hyper digital image stabilizer controls all motion of the camera, nearly eliminating shaking videos entirely. On the LCD, there are directional shortcut buttons for easy access to certain menu items. The center button brings up the main menu. The top button is for exposure, which you can set to manual or auto. The right button provides a mute function. The left button is for shutter. And the bottom button lets you toggle through focus types. The MX20 stores video clips using the more compressed H264 codec. This allows the MX20 to retain the same video quality as MPEG-2 while allowing you to store three times more video. MP4 files compressed with the H264 codec are compatible with YouTube and iPods. If you were to take a film using the web and mobile mode of the MX20, it would store videos in a format created specifically for YouTube and iPods, thus requiring no additional encoding. Another very important function of the MX20 is the interval recording function. 
You can set the interval recording function anywhere from 1 to 30 seconds, or you can set the number of hours. This allows you to record a flower blooming in the fall or a city progressing through the day. While comparing products in a similar price range, the MX-20 strong points really stand out, such as the 34x optical zoom, iPod compatible codex, and 3 hours of battery life. While the fallbacks are that there are not many applicable effects while filming, and the loss of color clarity while zoomed in at 34 times. Of course, everyone has their own preferences and choices concerning camcorders. But if your intention is to create your own UGC, I strongly suggest the MX-20.